let's finish off our boost. And we definitely broke a record on technology again. Bugs do take a while sometimes. Alright, so hopefully that gives us some more stuff. Do I unlock anything at level 10? That's okay, Randy. Now, do I unlock anything? get some research done. So let's do voiceover. What else around something we can't do yet. Hopefully this will get us to 80 and then we can do one more research after. Some more research. And realistic weather. Uh, again, I don't think we really need, since the game has been already been released, it's not going to really do as much to go to the G3 on this one. Uh, so... I guess let's go through some contract work. Because contract work does give us a little bit of research as well, and a little bit of money. Nothing too major that is going to be really game-changing for us at this point. But we can go through and clear this up and hopefully get to another 80 before... Before we have to make another game on there. Contract work. More contract work. So this one's going to be a little more difficult to do, but I believe that they should be able to do it without too much trouble. Yeah, we'll boost a few of them. We failed that one. Find more contract work. Well, apparently we can't get anything else right now since they're all 80s, so let's go and get some more 
topics. And then right after we get these researched, we'll probably send everyone on vacation and then prepare for our next game. So let's get an airplane game. Let's get a UFO game. Let's get a racing game. A city game. Cyberpunk's always good. So we should have plenty to choose from our next one. And these will be all things that we haven't used yet, so I may try like a cyberpunk. Okay, so we did that. And then from here, I guess we'll just make another game. So we'll do. So we can do Cyberpunk or Airplane or Racing or Vampire. Uh, we'll go with Cyberpunk. Oh, this one, Shadowrun. And this will be an RPG with a bit of action. We'll go with Ixian again. 3D graphics. So, it's probably going to be a tie between gameplay and story. Let's go ahead and mark out this one as well. I don't know how well to do, so we'll just do a small campaign. Uh, for this, it's an RPG in action. So action, I don't think is big on world design. RPG is kind of. AI is usually good for the... We'll go with AI, actually. I think that's a little bit good for both. So they disagree with me. That'll have some negative Im impact on it, as far as like hype and stuff goes. But let's do a large boot. Yeah, we could probably just stick with that. And 
let's go and boost them. And ideally we should be number one again, because we'll probably have about two and a half million people or so. Or two million even. So obviously world design was somewhat important, so we're actually going to max that sound to nothing. And there. We're going to take Derek off though. Which means we need to take Leroy off of this, so we can probably put someone with high tech on there. And I think that should be a pretty good combination for us. And we're going to boost a little bit further. So a pretty good mixture between like hype, technology still pretty high, design could be better, but it's still not too bad, all things considered. And we almost have enough research in order to complete the rest of what we have, so maybe after we complete everything it'll give us... There we go. So, advanced physics, reactive class. So, we're actually gaining some things, which is good. Because, unfortunately, we weren't getting much more advances, and I'm sure that's going to reflect badly in our games when we're not adding anything to them. Alright, so we're going to have him generate the report, and then we're going to have these guys do some research, so... Some of these are expensive, though. I guess we do advanced physics. Let's do some contract work. Yeah, we'll try this one. We might be able to manage this without a full staff. It's again the goal is to get as much research as we can here, so this does offer us a little more research. 